Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Jervil and welcome back to an episode of the Why Play Show. Little game reviews that I do to uh, add to the reviews that I put on Steam. So without further ado, let's get into the deep darkness that is the forest. So, I'm reviewing the forest today. Um, and it's a game that came back out back in 2014. Uh, it's now 2016. The game is still currently in alpha, but has had a steady flow of updates. And we'll get into the updates just in a minute. Uh, for now, I just want to say um, that I won't be doing an actual like, 10 episode series of this. I did that with Subnautica. It nearly killed me and destroyed my life. I salute anyone who does Let's Play videos or actual like, big long like series of videos and stuff. That shit is hard and yeah, I won't be doing that. I may do the odd like extra episode after the reviews, but I'll try and get everything done in, a, in the 30 minutes that I have for these reviews. That being said, this game is quite big and there's not a not going to be enough time to basically cram it into the 30 minutes that we're already running out of. So let's get on with it. Right, every game I review, I do it on certain merits. As you know, I like the menu system and this game is incredible. It has come along in leaps and bounds since it came out. And I like the fact that they tell you when their next updates are. As I said, I was going to talk about the updates. There is a constant flow of updates from the developer, unlike other games where you just sort of guess when they're coming out or they let you know. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, we actually have time until alpha release and then the, the version of the alpha release that they're going to be releasing. Uh, and then up here you get to see what version you're on. So we have 8 days, 9 hours, 45 minutes and that is brilliant for a developer to do to actually set down a schedule and tell let you know an actual countdown to let you know uh, menu system is very basic exit to windows your options uh, are vast i'm not going to go over all of them but you have your basic options that you would expect from a decent game like this uh, it does support online co-op you can host your own game um, and you can join a the game. There's you need to port forward and stuff. I'm not going to show you the multiplayer. Um, I'm going to jump into the single player and I'm going to start a new game. Now the multiplayer and the single player are a mirror image of the same thing. So if you play multiplayer with friends, you can play up to eight people. You are playing the single player story mode uh, in multiplayer with friends. The only difference is you have people helping you in single player. It's your you're you're on your own. So I haven't actually question uh, answered the question of why you should even care about this game. Um. Well, if you're looking for an interesting survival game with a little bit of story, this is the one for you. So we start off on a plane with our son Timmy. Um, and it is a, it's a survival game and I'm going to get into the survival aspects very soon so you play the role of a parent who's on a flight with his son and something bad goes down and you have to basically survive and try and find your son we're about to see that unfold right now the ground and we've crashed and into the game we are thrown. 
So now we're actually in the game itself. Um, the forest is a survival game where you have to survive uh, the island inhabitants while looking for your son Timmy. It leaves you these little drawings all over the place. So I'm just going to quickly try and gather some supplies here uh, and check the wreckage out. Uh, graphically, the game is amazing. The graphics are, you know, really good. I, I actually enjoy the graphics. Um, yeah, it's not too graphic intense, but it's not too sort of bad where you you sort of realise, you know, that this is a really bad game. Right, I've now got my axe. There are wildlife, uh, though I'm not 100% sure if they are harvestable. I think they are. So why don't we actually get into the menu itself. So the menu that the player gets to um, use by pressing I is this one here. And it's really... Um, interactive and we're going to go over that in a sec once I get some cloth and I'll show you how interactive it actually is. That has some pills and some cloth. So as you start picking things up in the world your this will start to fill out uh, with different equipment that you pick up in the game. Um, here we have the passenger manifest that we picked up from the plane and you can see there's 45, uh, 0 to 45 passengers um, on the plane base on the list that we have to find so there is little objectives but it's down to the player whether he goes and does all them objectives or not so there's a lot of replayability in the game uh, which is one reason you may be looking to buy the game is maybe you're looking for a game that's going to give you a bit of time and take a long you know, time to unlock and do everything. This game certainly offers that. Um, we also have the survival book which was for our son Timmy. And in this, this has various menu systems and tells you about various like functions of the game. You can see two things up here are flashing. So if we click on this, this is our to-do list. And basically, we are told to find Timmy, set up camp and look for firm missing survivors. And we have our sort of first aid sort of vitals. This shows you how healthy you are, uh, how much damage you have, and your sanity. And I'm not going to go over too many of the game's functions and what they do. I'm just going to cover the basics to show you what we're actually going to do. So it said there in our to-do list, uh, set up a camp. And we're going to do that with the, the basics of survival, which is a hunting shelter. Um, and we're going to set that up now. Uh, we are just going to have a look around the crash site to see where we are and see if we want to set up here or further away. We have some stream here. There's a big canyon down there. I should also point out that the crash plane is random. It will not always spawn at this location. So when you play the game, it will be completely randomly generated for you. Oh, we've come into these um, little demon thing stick things I can't remember exactly what they're called but by destroying these it stops the enemy from spawning right so I'm actually gonna set camp up just here in this nice little open area and the crafting system is fairly simple 
Um, you get to see like an outline of what it is that you're going to craft. Uh, you can rotate it and then you can place it down. And once placed down you walk up to it and it tells you exactly how much you need to um, you know, make the, the shelter. We still need logs and some sticks. Get a few more sticks. So the game will you know, have you playing for a good amount of time. We have another one of these spawn point things. Get rid of that. And hopefully very soon um, you'll get to see some of the island inhabitants. Now the game is... Oh there's some huts down there. The game's enemies are basically these like cannibalistic uh, island inhabitants that slowly start to assess you and they look at you and see how dangerous you are. Um, and over time they start to like attack you basically. There we go, this is about to fall. There we go. One, two. Don't think I can pick up three now. So the crafting system is very, very sort of um, involved. You have to physically like gather your resources, build your shelter. Um, there isn't a leveling system. I d I don't believe there's a leveling system. There isn't like you know level seven and such. You literally just have your basic survival guide, which tells you all what you need to know. Um, shelters you can build various things food and water you can craft various like things to gather food um, storage devices walls um, utilities and structures uh, and small traps and things but as I say I haven't got enough time to cover everything that is in the game um, as there is efflings that's what they're called efferages um, and you can craft these yourself and it um, there isn't pretty much all like as I say I'm running out of time to cover everything so I'm just going to cover the basics which is getting this built and maybe a log uh, fire um, and I might just be able to go and explore and show you some of the uh, hopefully some of the island inhabitants so if you're looking for a good game with up to eight people uh, to play with online, as I say, the single player is mirrored. Uh, whatever you do in the single player, you do in the multiplayer. So you will be able to go online with friends and create a uh, a nice little settlement and go and explore the island and everything that it has to offer. Um, there we go so I get the ability to sleep and save and I'm gonna save now I'm gonna save over my old game and I'm not 100% sure if by saving no uh, saving doesn't change the time of day I don't believe right so in the bottom left hand corner we get little objectives saying that you know press B and now that we have done with the um, the basics of shelter we're going to go to step two which is crafting a log fire and I'm going to craft this let's see I've got my shelter there I'm going to craft this here there we go so I've now crafted my log fire um, I'm going to go and try and hunt for some meat while taking a look down there to you know find what's down there and then we'll we'll show you the cooking and such so I've now set up my camp find and cook food 
and um, find the missing passengers and Timmy. Uh, let's have a look. This is flashing for some reason, so... Ah, basic survival step two. We're now on step three, which is basically telling me what things are edible and what things are not. So we have um, ovals and black twin berries are toxic. So let's go and have a look down by this little village here and see what like supplies we can find while you know, going around. Now, I said before that the menu system does uh, craftable items and such. And basically, in order to craft things, you would right click and I can make a burning plain axe, an orange plain axe, or a blue plain axe. I'm going to make a burning one, and by doing that, all we do is combine cloth and we combine this, and now I have a burning um, cloth. And I'm going to equip that in one hand. And I'm going to equip the lighter in the other. And basically, the island inhabitants, from what I have read, are afraid of fire. Um, so, all I would actually have to do is light my axe like so. Um, and then when they come near me, I can, um, you know, attack them. Oh, they won't actually come near me because I've got, you know, this, this on, set on fire and such. We found some dead bodies. Not very nice looking. <laughs> So there doesn't seem to be a lot here. Some tents there. Look at the tents. Soda cam. Hmm. Hoping to find some of the island inhabitants. There's a stove. Oh, there is actually a cave down there, so we might go down the cave. Item to do list Explore the waterfall cave, okay. And you'll find these tents around that you can quickly save at and such. I'm actually just going to save at one now. I was hoping to show you me cooking on the fire and how you would cook things, but... Um, just seeing so. so, they've discovered me. And I've discovered them. Trying to light my uh, thing on fire, but it's not working by the looks of things. Oh, right, it's not working because I need to combine that really quickly. So he's running off to now go and probably tell the rest of his tribe people that, you know, we found... Oh, wow, there's loads of them. I have fire, so I know... Oh, he's attacking. Oh my way! Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> wow, he's uh <laughs> so I've injured him, he's injured me. I think he's coming to attack me. I'm gonna quickly take some medicine. I'm gonna take him back to my camp and I'm gonna pretty much show you something that's not very nice. So as you can see as well, you'll see like anything that you create uh, shows up as like a little uh, house icon. So I now have this guy, he's now coming with me. Um, I think you could probably guess what I'm going to do with this guy and it's not going to be very nice. Um, now depending on how you want to play this game uh, if you want to keep your sanity, eat animals. There's, like as you seen there there was a lizard on the ground but I wasn't fast enough to hit it. Um, you can eat berries, you can find chocolate bars and coke cans and stuff and that will keep your sanity really high a hundred percent because you don't want to you know um lose your sanity and such uh, which is a good thing and stuff and as you can see now i'm, I'm already down to 99 percent sanity because unfortunately i've had to kill one of the island inhabitants but one of the features with this and it's a, a rather unique feature I'll just show you this now. Is you actually get the ability to um, chop the body into pieces. There we go. And yeah, uh, we can cook the body. So I'm now going to cook that piece. I think I just hit a bed there as well, so... Feathers... Thirsty, fine water to drink... Um. I already have some cans that I'm going to drink. I have some small generic meat. Um, I can eat that leg. So I'm now going to actually eat a human leg. Which I'm not too sure if it damages my health or not. But I definitely know it damages sanity. So as you can see, I've just lost a large chunk of sanity. Um, and we've also discovered some traps now um, that we're gonna have to set up set up defenses uh, we have this beasty beastery so skinny fast traveling uh, fast but very weak try you using a quick weapon like small axe or sword so we've just managed to you know meet our first inhabitant of the island. Unfortunately it wasn't a very pleasant um, interaction. And I've shown you how to like defend yourselves. There's there's lots in the game basically. Um, the land is not procedurally generated so it's a fixed map and that's good I like that because it means you have to explore. Um, from the distance I can see a fire or something there, I can see something twinkling. I'm going to check that out. Might just be a graphical error, but... Um, yeah, the island is big basically and there's lots to explore. 
Yeah, the inhabitants were over this way. No. back to my house and stuff um, so I've got last four minutes left um, trying to come up with things for you to, to know about but the game is so big and is so good to play um, trying to cover everything in a matter of minutes in 30 minutes for the game such as this is is really hard considering just how big the game is actually is um, so you can see we're going underwater I'm going to climb back up a sec so that you can actually hear me a bit better because I, I didn't realise uh, the water sounds would be really loud kind of forgot about that right uh, I'm not 100% sure how much the game is now but when I paid for it it was roughly 15 pound in fact actually i'm telling a lie i didn't actually buy this game this was bought for me as a, a gift from a friend of mine um he paid for he paid the cash and i have to say if i have had to have paid the cash it it's well worth it it's well worth the money uh, if you've got a group of friends and you're all like want a game that you know you just can play and such this is definitely definitely worth the money um, the replayability, the constant stream of updates makes this game definitely worth uh, checking out. Um, the crafting and everything is awesome. Uh, oh shit, now they're attacking me. Um, everything about the game is just awesome. It's, it's suspenseful, it's scary. Um, it's really like you know it's just amazing it's it really is an amazing game and uh, there's creatures in the game that like get really harder and stuff um everything is just you know i'm happy that i got the game um i really am uh, i definitely recommend anyone pick this game up it's multiplayer is a bit of a issue to set up you have to pull forward and such but once you've done that you know you'll you'll be made up um as i say it lacks a little bit in terms of story and such because there isn't so much of a story there is objectives for you to do but again it's down to the player how they want to play it and such um you're not like restricted to you have to go and do this you have to go and do that like i didn't have to go down that waterfall i could have gone down the canyon first um there's tons in the game to find uh and explore so i highly recommend picking this up um if you can trying to get myself killed so that but I don't like wanna die straight away. There we go. Right. I hope they're gonna drag me away now. Yes. There we go. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been the forest. I highly recommend picking it up. It is amazing. Um, you definitely want to play this game. Uh, thank you for watching and as always, like, favourite and subscribe uh, for more gaming new reviews and such. And um, I'll see you in the next uh, video. As always, if you didn't like the video, give it a dislike, but always tell me what you didn't like about the video. 
Thank you and goodbye.